We are not reporters nor journalists. The views, information, or opinions expressed are strictly and solely barber shop talk. We pride ourselves on being uncut, unapologetic, uncompromising, unfiltered, and refuse to conform to anything less than. So if you can't, cut the cap. This ain't the show for you. I remember we had that drama of um, Killer Mike getting arrested at the Grammys and he was, yeah. he was being charged with a whole bunch of nonsense. And well, he's been cleared. He's free and clear. No charges in the Grammys arrest. Um, he got all his legal legal troubles behind him. This is a W because we know how the system is. We know how the system is, and we know that um, they could pin something on you when they want to. You know what I'm saying? Um, and an and a obvious, obvious one that the, I ain't gonna say it's obvious, but my opinion is kind of what Thug is going through right now. Like I know Thug is guilty of some shit, but they they can't prove that he's guilty, and they just running through the rampants right now, trying to trying to pin something on him to the point where the judge about to get arrested. But anyway, this is just shouts out to Killer Mike. Let's stay on point. Um, he beat the allegations and no charges was, was, was brought against him. So that's, that's fire. So like, how you feel about this though? Um, I mean, the truth of the matter is like, I didn't really care about that. To be honest, he won my man won a Grammy. That's my, that's my guy right there. So yeah, none of that charger stuff. He could have, whatever they gave him a little misdemeanor or whatever. Yeah. I didn't, I, I'm sure he was thinking the same way. Like who cares, man? I just won a Grammy. You know what I mean? I'm killing Mike, somebody that I never did anything I didn't want to do in this music industry. I never Picture Mike Wall. I, didn't, I didn't want to do. I never had to work. I always did what I like doing, and I won me a Grammy. So and this little tiny little thing here is very small to what he did. So yeah, who cares, man? Yeah, but you know, I mean, listen, I I I care in the sense that it was a nuisance, and this is a repeat. This is something that happens all the time. Right, but this was in in a peak of his life, like because you know he won a Grammy, right? You know, this is supposed to be his moment, and they ruined it. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is second to like the Chris Rock smack. You know what I'm saying with the Grammys thing? Like, this, like that was this, you ruined somebody's moment. For now. I don't know if it's that big though. That this wasn't a big deal, bro. If he would have got charged, it would have. What was they gonna charge? Some it was probably a misdemeanor. Well, it was a yeah, it was a misdemeanor assault. But the fact yeah, that's that, what I'm saying. That ain't nothing, bro. I, I don't even know what he did. Like we still don't know. Like did he have to slap somebody? You know what I mean? Did he have to? You know they said he it? hit one of the security guards or something like that. Oh the, yeah, you know how I get, bro. You know you, you know how that go, yeah. bro. When you, you know what I'm he, saying? He, he was for a, mi a misdemeanor battery after he allegedly knocked down a security guard who didn't get out of his way outside of the crypto arena. When the Grammys were going down, shout out to oh. Marty too. I'll see you soon in September. Congrats, my boy. Um, but yeah, shout out yeah, to so Killer that's Mike. What I'm saying. I, that's every other night. Security ain't like I just seen a hey, boy going crazy on somebody for not letting him in. But that ain't gonna stop. You know what I mean? Like he won a Grammy, bro. There's a lot of artists that wish they could do a Killer Mike did. That's a fact. That's a fact. All right, so yo, shout out, shout out, shout out to Killer Mike too. By the way, now I'm saying because yeah. Killer Mike actually showed. Cut the cap some love. Know what I'm yeah. saying? Uh, okay. Love, know what I mean? On the clip that we had put up, um, actually speaking on the whole Grammy situation and all that. Know what I mean? Uh, Legendary, bro. Of the Killer Mike fact. Know what I mean? That man is a legend, an icon now, bro. And ain't nothing nobody can do or say about it, bro. And he did it his way, man. He is an example of what a lot of artists now in the future should be like. A lot of people take examples of what you want to do in life, set your goals, and do it, bro. Killer Mike did it, bro. Not to mention, like you, uh, Smith said, yo, bro, he got a lot of other stuff going on, man. This man got a, this man got a bank, bro. Like, oh, and yeah, don't get no realer than that. I keep I keep yeah. the twenty five dollars in that, you know. <laughs> yeah, I don't get no really than that. My man got a barber shop that yeah. he's in. There. You could go through on a Thursday and see Killer Mike, the Grammy winner. You feel me? It's like a shout out to him, bro. That's out to him. But yeah, he's he passed his troubles. He's good. He could continue giving us classics and good music. Um he did. When... I just was listening to him and Bob uh one of Bob Marley's sons. They got a record that was just 
crazy. But shout, you know, I mean, he's past all this this stupidness, and keep doing what you're doing. Shouts out to you, Killer Mike. Shouts out to you. You know what I mean? Now get uh, my favorite Killer Mike. Listen, we love Andre three thousand, man. Get, get him back. Get that man. <laughs> get back rap. Second, right, and get, get <laughs> let's, get, let's get, get let's get it together, man. You know what I mean? Let's let's get this Dungeon uh family album out. With uh, I seen a picture of the Dungeon family all of because uh, what's his name passed away? I forget his name, but he passed away. They all like reunited. I thought that was a moment right there. If we could get some music out of that, that'd be amazing. Come on, Killer Mike. 